Okay guys, we got some uh, auto body going on today. Getting this door prepped and ready for a, an 09 Kia Sportage. It's the rear driver side door. This is uh, the best I could find. And believe me, it wasn't cheap either, but it still had a couple little imperfections in it. As you can see, we got a little dent there. Not sure if the camera's picking up the other side. Trying to find there you go, you can see that a little bit there. This one really isn't much of a dent. More of a scratch. That's the main one over there. And this one here. I know it's not picking it up much, but it's a pretty good imperfection. So we got a couple different methods we could use. I was hoping to do some PDR on this one since I have all the equipment. However, what I'd have to do. This is a double panel skin. There's an inner panel on the inside, so I just can't go from the... I got the door panel off, but I can't get up to this dent because there's another skin. So I'd have to drill a hole somewhere around here, get in there with my PDR tools, and massage that dent out from the inside out. And I'd probably get it almost perfect. Same thing with those two little ones on the other side. However, then I had to fill this in or make a plug for it. I do have some universal plugs just for that. However, that side is going to be hard no matter what because the the way that's shaped. If you come over here, you can see it's a real tight, tight spot. So I really want to be able to get behind that too much. So what I'm going to try doing first before drilling holes, as you can see, the the glue gun's all heated up. But I'm going to just try some basic PDR methods while I'm uh, pulling it out. I'm going to just glue a couple tabs on it, try to pull up and tap it down at the same time. If that doesn't work, I'll start drilling some holes and uh, massaging it from the inside out. Most of you guys are probably saying, well, why don't you just sand it down and mud it? Well, I like to try to get it as close as I can because this is a, a newer vehicle. So when it's done, I want it to be right. Okay, the first thing I usually do is uh, study the dent a little bit. I try to look for the point of impact, which to me looks right about here. It's hard to tell with the reflection. I'm going to try to turn this light off for a minute just so I can get it marked. I see right here is an outer. bad part is it comes up on this body line. That's the main reason I want to get that one out. So what I want to do is that center is where I'm going to glue the tab. And while I'm pulling out, I can play connect the dots and tap around it with a little knockdown. Alright, let's glue the tab on it. Okay, we'll take and install the bridge. I'm going to try to keep it on the seam since you got to be careful with these guys because these contact points could actually make a dent. So I'm going to put it like this. I'll give you guys another angle in a minute. This light in here, guys, is terrible.
tab hanging in there. Two little tabs hanging in there. Looks like we came up a little bit. I'm gonna give it one more shot right in the middle of that dent. Guys, believe me, by no means am I a PDR expert. I just suck at body work. So if I can get as close as possible using these methods, I'm all for it. Back when we had the body shop, I took a little class on it. That's pretty much where I got the tools as well. This isn't one of the tools. I'm referring to the PDR tools. Used for going behind there and massaging the dents out. I found these work pretty well too. What I did find too in the past is that aftermarket paint sometimes will lift using these glue tabs. I also have a setup I made, I can demonstrate it later, that I glue these tabs on that I fabricate it and then I made these pieces for a slide hammer and you could pop it without drilling holes. Alright, that's going to be good enough for this one guys, I'll give you a shot of it. As you can see, I still got still got a little bit in that area. This one I couldn't really get out too much because it's a crease right there. But I did get the dent out. It'll take very little filler to correct that compared to what it was. Okay, I just sanded it down. The spots that needed a heavier build is down to bare metal. However, I feathered it out very little. That's just one skim, and hopefully that'll cover. Okay guys, this is what I'm up to today. I'm not sure if you can see with the glare out here. Two thousand nine Kia Sportage.
A soccer ball sized dent there caused by a pole and as you can see there that door is totally caved in guy backed into him luckily it didn't damage the rocker panel or the quarter however since I have to repair this it didn't a little tiny nick on on there but barely barely put a little scratch on there However, I'm gonna have to blend it anyhow so something is made with the look right I guess I call them up, the dent's gone. What I'm gonna do is try to find a point of impact. Seems like I got an impact point right here. So right down here is where it's screwing me. They're getting a little closer. As you see, it's all ripply because it was caved in with a pole, but I decided to put a little access hole back here to get in with my PDR tool just to make it a little bit easier to try to work it out. But you see, I try to get it close before I start knocking it down. So it's really ripply now. I'm not sure if I should take it any further because, regardless, I got to paint it. So, and it's creased real bad right here, right along this bottom. This is what's fighting me so much. I didn't want to go drilling holes, but I don't want to pull it out too far. So I think I'm going to hit it with a, a block just to see my highs. Okay. Now I hit it with a block. What you can see is that when that crease popped out, gave me a high spot. Wherever it's still shiny is low. So where I thought I had it pulled out too far is still a little low. I got to knock that down. See how, how low we actually are. Okay, guys, now what you see, I took my uh, body hammer and tapped that down a little bit. Hit it again with the block. And as you see, I had a high spot there and a little high spot there, so I tapped them down. Now I'm pretty much sitting here and here, so this is low still. This spot here is still low. That little low spot right there. I can't really get behind that there's like a another inner panel that's preventing me from getting behind there with the PDR tool so I'm gonna put a little guide coat on this it's gonna take some cheap paint and mist it real quick just like overspray and then hit it again with the block and see if our highs are down I gotta run out and get some more materials just wanted to give you a quick update as you can see I got the door on it that we were working on and um, that's looking good I'm gonna put one more coat of guide coat on it and block it one more time make sure we have everything right working on that back dent trying to get the lines back you know it's been challenging to say the least whenever you got a body line like that it's right between two sharp ones but we're getting there okay guys sorry i haven't been able to cover most of this just put the last coat of face on it i got it all blended in i think it's flashing off right now I'm going to give it like 15 minutes, and then we're going to clear it. Yeah, it's been a long couple days for me, i got to be honest. I ran into some setbacks with this truck, with this collision repair, and I just wanted to give you a quick update. I had to skip through this video somewhat because, I tell you, it's really consuming a lot of my time, and I'm getting backed up. However, I'm trying to give you little pieces here and there, so I'll keep you updated. The body work's done, it's painted, it's cleared, I buffed it, uh, I'm in the polishing state right now, 
everything's looking good guys the, it took me a long time to get that body line back in that rear quarter I struggled with that thing and not only that when you don't do something every day you run short on materials and not only does that cost you time it costs you money because when you buy local a lot of times you're paying top dollar so be ready in advance if you're gonna take on a job like this guys because you know I'm learning with this one and I've you know I should have learned my lesson a few times because this ain't my first rodeo you know I'm sure you've seen some of the videos of the collision jobs I went out in the parking lot that truck that uh, we did the front end collision on I don't know if I ever gave you an after video of that one because I was running short on time with that one as well but I have it out there so I'll give you a quick little glimpse of how that looks and that's you know that was over a year ago when I did that front end collision job it's running a little rich now so I uh, I have a feeling what it might be but I gotta get this done before I can bring that truck in and a couple other vehicles that are piling up however we're getting there I think by lunchtime today it should be done um, you know I wanted to take it further this collision job when it went to the insurance company was only for the rear door and I uh, since it's a good guy you know I wanted to do him a favor I wanted to blend the paint you know and to get the job I threw in the rear quarter which you know it costed me in the long run but in one way you could think of it as a uh, on-the-job training you know like I would have to pay to go to school you know even though this isn't my first time it's uh it's like educational to me it reminds me of things that I may have forgotten along the way so even though I might just break even I I'm not going to make anything on this job really because of the time that it costed me and the materials like I mentioned but the experience that I went through the struggles that I had to overcome to get this thing finished with recreating that body line because there's there's like two body lines in that one quarter you know not only do you have your arch you have that flat that goes around you know it's like an inch and a half flat inch and a quarter flat that for that wheel well you know I I worked and worked that thing you know I bet you I have close to eight hours just in that quarter panel getting that thing straight not to mention the door I had to prep that get that all ready like you've seen and uh, but it is what it is we did what we had to do and um, it's pulling together you know I wanted to throw in the rear bumper form as well but you know I could only go so far with so much material I only had enough clear to do the blending the sides and everything and I threw the quarter in for them because I wanted to blend the quarter and uh, when you do a blend it's best to through experience and through words of wisdom through other people and I gotta thank VW Darren he uh, he helped me out I had a few questions so I contacted Darren and um, he gave me some good advice like I was gonna use a inner coat clear for the blending because that's what PPG recommended or to sell tech or manager at the paint store recommended that I use the inner coat clear and I've seen it used before you know and um, Darren reassured me that that's mainly for he goes I could use it you know it's not gonna hurt however that's mainly used when you have a high metallic like a gold or a silver even though this is black and it has metallic maybe I could have pulled off a panel repair with it but I just didn't want to take a chance on something that's new you know this is somebody's baby that they're still paying for so I wanted it to be right when they got it back so what I did I just extended my coats like I shot the door he gave me some good advice to tape off the door um, shoot the door first you know since I've been out of this for a while shoot the door to prevent overspray from getting on the adjacent panels once I achieved the hiding of uh, the undercoat and then I moved on to uh, taking off the mask and you know I left the rear quarter on tape because I had the body work I had to base that so I based the quarter I based the door and then I extended my coats after I took the tape off I extended my coats up and around the top of the windows towards the front of the vehicle on each coat I just went a little bit further instead of just doing down by the body work I kind of did most of the rear quarter and then it blended it across the sail and then I extended my coats down the driver's side front door you know by the time I was done I was probably halfway if not a little bit more down the front door until I felt like I had a good blend 
and that was achieved with no no interco clear no extra thinning just extending my coats and fanning it out kind of an overspray type deal and uh just misting it on you know and it, i think it turned out pretty well to be honest with you for the conditions that i'm working in and plus the equipment that i'm working with Okay guys, here's one last look before we take it outside. You got all the polish off it. Okay, first time out in the sun. Like I said, I painted the door first. Painted the quarter. Paint the whole quarter all the way up and then I blended it to about here put another coat on went a little bit further on tape the door and then each coat I went a tad bit further till I was probably halfway through this door completely cleared I had this front fender taped off completely so everything's completely cleared Front door, back door, rear quarter. Look, there you have it. It's gotta be wiped down one more time, guys. Cleaned up, cleaned the windows. I'll get the rear bumper on it, get the taillights in it, and give you another shot. I think we pulled it off, guys. Like I said, there was a scuff in that bumper that uh, I didn't take care of for him. Because uh, that's just going to be at least another couple hundred dollar repair with materials and everything. You know, I could blend it over pretty easy and won't take much. But it's just the materials are expensive. It was... Uh, $400 and some change just for the paint and that's only a quart system for this color. I know it seems like black but there's a in certain lights I'm not sure if you can see it here it's showing up but there's a there's metallic in it it's red and something else they call it a black cherry but uh yeah, you can't even see it in this light too much reflection on the camera I really dig that body work. Gotta say that's probably one of the one of the straightest panels I've done when there's that many body lines involved. Those of you who had to ever re-arch a quarter like that and know they know exactly what I'm what I had to struggle with. But there you go, Mike, I hope you're happy. Hopefully on a certain angle you can catch the the color now at the sun's starting to shift over to this side you know it's hard with this black to get all the swirls out especially when the paint's still fresh and I think picks up everything is when you shoot black and you have body work that's the color that's going to show up the most and um, I don't know if you if you recall the body work we had to do on the door we had to dent right on that body line that we removed mostly with PDR and then I had to give it a thin skin you remember how bad that one was pretty much had to recreate that whole body line Pretty proud of that repair right there. Hey guys, before I close it out, I remember I told you I'd give you a shot of that, that Chevy that came back in for a repair. But, uh, remember this front end collision job. Whole complete nose, right ear support, whole nine yards. Never did make a follow up video to show you guys how it turned out. But like I mentioned before, this is over a year and a half ago. What you see here guys is the way it came out of my gun. I never wet sand it nor buffed this truck when I was done with it. 
That was pretty much pretty much the result. Straight out of the gun. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, I wanna ask me what that is. He's got some new damage on the door, but that's not what it's here for. Body line's a little bit up. Now, if you guys remember how this thing was, this whole thing was tweaked. But I got it back as good as I could at the time, you know. Considering the extensive damage that was on the core support and stuff, it looks like it held up pretty good. Over a year later. <laughs>